you know, what's fucked up is when you're, when you're, when you're taking a dump, yeah. you never notice it, but all the eyes are always looking at the camera. <laughs> so mm -hmm. look, mm -hmm. we're just sitting everybody looking at oh, you. Look, look, look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go, now, now, you'll, now you'll think about it next time. Season two in Wynwood with Judd Allison. This is a little bit of a behind the scenes look. Uh, we only had one camera following us around. It wasn't even supposed to be there, but it was. And on Toe Jam Backlot, what Judd does is Judd also, beside being a, a multi-talented entrepreneur, has a company that supplies, I'd call it, tools, content, toys to the filmmaking industry. And we had stuff on that from a Matthew McConaughey film and from a, uh, uh, Snoop Dogg film. So uh, Judd was a really cool character and if you want to think about the greatest man cave of all time and the greatest man backyard of all time, Judd's got it for sure. The robot starts turning into a person. She starts talking to you. If I get it up the ramp? Yeah. Ah, <laughs> too cute, huh? <laughs> let's, let's see the yard. You know, it almost feels like a green space when you're in here, you know? Mm -hmm. Totally does. Are they... Recycled from one of the high school uh, mm -hmm. football fields. This is a cool area. This, I was just going to say, this feels like a VIP lounge. That we I just do that, and it's also like our, our uh, smoke out bus. So did you do most of this construction, too? You have a crew that comes in here and works with you? Yeah, it's all us. Uh, so a lot of it's, you know, it's either just we're in-house or it's right when I get bored. Just weekend, just, like love, I therapy. Am. You get bored. You just, that's exactly what it is. You right. know, you, after you finish with your work, you want a place to relax. Mm -hmm. or, Where the hell did you get the school bus? Also, it was left over from a festival. And then uh, they used it as a lounge originally, so we cut the side out of it like that. Still got some weed, guys, if you want some. Help you focus better. Right. That's what my 17-year-old son tells me. <laughs> <laughs> this covers behind the scenes in a few of the seasons. I would say that this is my favorite footage. Whenever I view this footage, even more than the stuff that makes it exclusively for True Future. Why? Because as much as I'm proud of the product we put out, what I think I cherish most is the dynamic team behind the cameras and the camaraderie that forms as you're out there doing these magical things. The people who put themselves out 12, 18, 20 hours a day and the creativeness that they put together in order to capture, to bring you what seems effortless and beautiful. The toil, labor, and love that went on to making it is the thing that warms my heart. You're gonna like this one. All right, let's get Joe. Thank you, everyone. It's gonna be fun. Oh my God. You wanna get rolling? Six and a half to hours. <laughs> yeah. Everybody lived. No casualties. Well, almost. I clipped a couple skis on the way down. Okay. See, we have the slackers that they take forever to come out. As you can see, our cargo van is very big and we're very excited. It can fit all of our 22 cases of gear. Woo! It's very German here. I didn't know I was riding. Oh, you're riding, baby. <laughs> You know, stunt double on this show. Clearly. So you want to own a production company? <laughs> For reason. <laughs> Behind the scenes, true future. Chrome is a celebrated street artist uh, who puts, for lack of a better term, art on a wall in the form of graffiti and uh, there's a big history there. He's a guy who had a $1 million bail on his head uh, less than a decade ago down here in Miami. What I was struck by him, first of all, it took us so, so long to get him into the seat. Uh, and then once we got him into the seat, I had to unwind him uh, to get him where he wanted to be and we were happy he got to. And during that time, and you'll see in this interview, I, I, I touch on it, he cared more about the people and the places, and he never referred back to the win for himself. And that was very interesting, and again, indicative of the people behind making these amazing things, be it medical devices, robots, or art. Uh, Chrome really, I think, demonstrates that 
for the most part, people want to give. And they just want to be recognized, perhaps, for it. But they're incredibly generous at their core. Enjoy this one. What's Winwood mean right now? What do you see for the next two or three years with it? Okay, Winwood's future, in my opinion, is um, it's going to keep growing bigger and bigger. It's just more people are recognizing it and more money is being pumped into it and higher, higher end companies are coming in. Now you can see it's going to be bigger. So the art's growing out and it's beneficial because people are getting jobs and it's more opportunity for artists and for the average person to make money because the living wages down here and stuff are absurd compared to other places, you know? Chrome, so. you sound like a businessman right now instead of the graffiti Yeah, artist. yeah, yeah. No, because I know because I pay rent, man. And like, I used to pay $300, but you can't even afford it by yourself, man. It's horrible, it's horrible. Where do you fit into it the next couple of years in Winwood? I want to be the, 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 the pioneer, me and my crew, and to continue push it. And I really want to teach younger people and get more arts in the schools if we can do that. The kids nowadays, like everyone's forced to do something else. They, they don't think they can make a living doing art, man, you know? And it's like, they're taking it out of schools, you know? It's like they're taking the love of, of, of the arts, music, everything, I believe. You know? I listened to your language, and it's about giving, giving, giving. You never once talked about taking. Where'd yeah. that come from? I have no fucking clue. I should be a piece of shit motherfucker. Yeah, but are you? No, I'm not. I don't know how. I don't know how. 